the sky's the limit as of right now. Um, like when the Germans presented their data, they actually put different Big Macs and saying the size and the choice, it depends on what you want to achieve. Um, and I think that the bigger number of combination regimens can offer us the opportunity to treat certain patients with certain agents that would not be um, optimal, optimally treated with other combination regimens. Like for example, people older than 65, they don't traditionally do well with a chemo regimen like FCR. Now with these combination regimens, you can see patients even in their 80s receiving these new agents. So it's clearly changing the way that the natural disease, um, um, the natural evolution of the disease, and uh, it's, it's changing in the fact that we can now treat our patients with high-risk disease that otherwise would not respond very well to chemotherapy. So eventually what we will get is um, probably the possibility of chemo-free therapies for our patients and the possibility of combination achieving deepened responses so that you don't have to be on a drug indefinitely and you don't develop the toxicities associated with the chronic daily use of a drug.